paint, charcoal and paper cutting. All art emanating not from studios but from back bedrooms and sheds around the Humber. The difficulty not the doing but the making ends meet. Good dog. Stay. For Jane Beharrell from Hull, the challenge is crafting a career from her Winterton home without having to leave the area. It is harder to get established around here without so much of an artsy going on as there is down south in London and things. But I have exhibited in London, um, but I couldn't, I couldn't get down there because I've got a little girl. So. But getting to London may not be necessary for Pocklington artist Hannah Osterpjuk. Amid hopes that a successful bid by Hull to be the UK's next city of culture will refocus a South centric art scene. Because particularly being in Yorkshire, London, I feel like I'd, you know, you'd, it'd be a bit easier. But I don't like that. I don't want to be one of these people that goes down to London just to make it. We are losing a lot of the young talent that we have here because artists have to sell their work to survive. Once they're established, we're finding that a number of the good artists are then moving back north, but they're tending to do that as they're a lot older. So along with Jane and Hannah, it's one reason why Rosie Scott Massey's been shortlisted for the New Lights Arts Prize being announced this Friday, a competition hoping to give northern artists a boost. Yes, we might not be anywhere near London, but we have all sorts of exciting things going on. There's some amazing um, art organisations and opportunities and galleries up here and people should really come and have a look and see what's going on. Ultimately though, they still need noticing. The reason why East Yorkshire's artists are hoping that Hull can bring the cultural gaze of a nation north in November when the UK's 2017 City of Culture is announced. Crispin Rolfe, BBC Look North.